Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. A new state report finds Washington counties could save money and still hold criminal defendants accountable by eliminating cash bail in some circumstances and instead releasing them on oversight conditions before trial. The report issued by the Washington State Auditor's Office finds that bail alternatives, ranging from simple reminders of a trial date all the way to electronic monitoring, can reduce jail populations and costs and still convince a defendant to appear at scheduled court dates. The savings for Washington could be anywhere from $6 million to $12 million, and the report says new approaches could cut down on recidivism. Nationwide, 75% of people in jail are held there for nonviolent crimes, and 62% have yet to be convicted. If they're unable to pay money bail, they can wind up kept in jail for a period longer than their potential sentence. In Washington at any given time, about 6,500 people are jailed and awaiting trial, of whom 4,700 could qualify for pretrial services. Holding a single person in jail costs almost $11 a day in food, laundry, and medical care. Pretrial service options in five Washington counties, the report finds, cost just $3.59 per person per day. The report makes no specific recommendations, but notes that in Spokane and Yakima counties, defendants on pretrial release were less likely to reoffend than those who waited for trial in jail. The findings are under review by a panel of judges for possible reform to the bail system. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News.